Hello guys, uh, I made one more test today and uh, it was similar to the previous one, but this time I didn't use the regenerative braking. The idea of this test was to check how much regenerative braking influence the uh, heat that build up in the motor of your e-bike. And I received 64 uh, rounds of starting the bike from uh, stop with a full acceleration uh, to maximum speed and then uh, breaking down with mechanical brakes. So I then I turn around, I ride again and again and again and I did uh, screenshots again like a previous time. Every uh, five rounds I uh, recorded the screenshot um, from the Kelly controller with the temperature of the motor and also I made the picture of the uh, temperature on the shell on the motor shell so you can compare it it's uh, approximately 15 to 20 percent lower temperature uh, and especially when the motor getting higher and higher temperature it start uh, cooling down faster um, the higher this delta of temperature inside the motor and outside temperature, the higher it starts cooling down. And since we don't use uh, a regenerative braking, so it has more time to cool down. Uh, after I uh, accelerate, I was coasting and braking down. So during this time, it had time to cool down more, to, so lose more uh, energy, dissipate heat, basically. Mm, and uh, I think it's a good idea for people who are struggling with like overheating sometime or you know you will reach this temperature limit you can turn it off the regenerative braking for a period of time but uh, if you know that you will not reach this critical point 140 150 degree then of course there is no uh, benefit of in turn turning off uh, regenerative braking first of all you will use your mechanical brakes more then you would need to change the brake pass uh, secondary um, it's uh, you cannot lock down your wheel because it's not that strong the regenerative braking and um, overall uh, you can always use your mechanical brakes when you need it as well so um, you can check also the screenshots that I made with the Strava, so you can uh, count how many cycles I did, but I think it was 64 rounds. And previously I made 49, so you see it's like 15 rounds more with turned off region comparing to when I was doing the same test with the region turned on. To make this experiment fair, I also charged battery to a similar level. I didn't charge it to higher voltage or lower, so it was more or less the same. Uh, and the ambient temperature was just maybe 2 or 3 degrees Celsius lower, so more or less it was, it was the same. So, as you can see the difference if we will compare it 49 and 64, it's over 20% difference. And uh, yeah, I think in, uh, if you know that you will ride in uh, places where you can turn off regenerative braking, you can do this to, to let the motor cool down faster. Yeah, definitely. But you, you must be sure that you will not overheat your brakes. It definitely and not worse of risking your health if your brakes can overheat and break during your uh, ride or you don't want to have a broken brakes in the middle of nowhere and then you know risking <laughs> again so yeah um, I will include the screenshots now and that's it for now leave your questions in the comment section um, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them. Thank you for watching and till next time. Bye.